Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I wanted to share a little Happy Mail package that I received from Tamika, Sending Smiles. I'll go ahead and leave her link down below in my description box. She um, hosts little giveaways, which she randomly chooses a card from her wall, which is cards that people have sent her. I think it's her son who actually picks the cards and um, I was one of the lucky winners this time around. So it's just a little Happy Mail package that she put together and this is what she sent me. She also included this slimline card that says congratulations, really cute. I love the um, like the succulent plants. I think that's what that is. So cute. So thank you Tamika. And let's see what's in here. She kind of asked what um, I like or dislike, but I'm really not picky. She also um, has an Etsy shop where she has um, her own paper kits or paper collections that you can digitally download. So if you're interested in that, um, that's also another thing that she offers. So she made like a little cute pocket, super cute. And the first thing I see, which I absolutely love, this out here are these pretty flowers so cute absolutely love them definitely will come in handy it's one of the things that I like but I just it's so time-consuming to make but they are so pretty I love the centers of them super cute and looks like she sent also a little um you can see here probably it's a little off the glare it's a stamp set it says so many candles, so it's like a birthday stamp set. So that's cool. So celebrate, let's party this cake. I don't stamp a whole lot, but this will definitely come in handy. Cute. Let's see what's in here. So that was the first pocket. I like how she did this little um, curve there. And then I think that's it, yeah. Ooh, an embossing folder. This is something that I don't actually rarely buy but i have a few of them oh there's two of them how cool so we have a butterfly one that is cool can't wait to try that and look at this like floral print one i don't know if you can see but very cool thank you and then she sent me some 97 count pearl little adhesive gems by miss sparkle and company i think this is from joanne's very very nice you can use those for everything so thank you so much Tamika I really do appreciate it it was a sweet surprise I was not expecting to win so um thank you so much I love this all and then since I have you guys I did want to do um a little share I have a little an ATC card that I made for a challenge um it's sarcastically 60 something and beyond. I think that's her channel name. It's Lene's um, sister or aunt, I believe. Yeah, it's her aunt. So she's hosting like a little challenge where you have to send in an ATC card. So I'll leave um, a link to that video so you guys can see. So this is the one that I sent her or I'm going to send her. I just added this cute little swan gem there. And then this is just some ephemera pieces from Hobby Lobby. And I just think it turned out so cute. So that's what I'm sending her as my ATC card. And then um, I finally altered one of the Dollar Tree cameras. This has been something that I've been wanting to do for maybe close to two years since they brought these out. Um, they're just the regular, can uh, I want to call it a candle, cameras from Dollar Tree. And then um, I did turn it into a shaker. I also used one of the um, little domes that I got from Timu just to um, make it a little bit popped out more. And then I added this pink cord, which is also from Hobby Lobby. I did that around the um, lens there. Did a little cluster here with the kite. Um, this is like a little uh, cabochon. I had pom-pom there to the kite there. A little seashell has like a little shell there. I did use um, Sunny Days paper from Maggie Holmes. And then I did a little cluster of tags, added some seam binding to hang from here. And then you can see another like castle that I use, cabochon there, some more ephemera pieces. And I just think it turned out so cute. I did use um, a crepe paper rosette, a little gold mesh there, 
and I just think it turned out adorable so fun and then I was watching I forgot who it was and I'm gonna have to go back to link the channel but um there's a certain name for this but it was done out of crepe paper and some twine and it's just a ruffled little trim that you can make with crepe paper and I wanted to try it and it looked so cool. She was using it on one of the party hat dies that Scrap Diva um, came out with. And she shared a tutorial how to make these. And I just thought this was so fun to do. And um, yeah, it's going to be a nice little trim. You can just add it to anything. For example, if you wanted to add it to the bottom, you know, of a project. Yeah, it was super cool and super fun. You can, this was made with four different colors of crepe paper, but yeah, I just thought it was so neat. I've never seen it done. And, um, so I definitely plan on making some more of these, especially I think for Halloween and, uh, you know, during the holidays, but this is definitely something that, um, I want to make extras up to keep in my stash. So that is what I have to share with you guys today. Um, I've kind of been behind on some videos and commenting technically I'm kind of on vacation I have some pre-recorded videos we came home for one day in between our vacation to my son had to take his senior pictures for the yearbook and um, then we're leaving again so I wanted to come on here and do the happy mail giveaway that I want and share what I have been creating and that pretty much it so i will see you guys in my next one take care i'll leave the links in my description box as well bye